Hello students, I'm going to show in this video how to do uh, bar graph and pie chart for qualitative data. For bar graph, we need first the frequency, the raw frequency, then the relative frequency, which is less than one for each item, and finally the relative frequency and percentage. So we'll show you how to do all that. So first thing we do is we start our Excel. So here's the Excel. And let's see. I think I have to reduce the size so you can see the whole thing uh, in this frame here. And I think this will work. OK. So you can type data here if you like, but what I'm going to do, import data from two files. One file has the abbreviations and their full form, and the other form file has the data. So first, let's see how the import is done. So import is done as follows. We click on the data tab here, and it's a text file, so I say get from text file. And I'm going to navigate to my flash drive where the data is. That navigation will take a minute or two. <clears throat> and this data is the data of uh, majors available in a, in a school. And I import it. And it shows you the structure of the data that there is major name and its abbreviation and it's a tab delimited although you don't see that here but it has tab space between the major and its abbreviation so we leave that as is next it is tab delimited so that's fine we leave that as is as well and now we have to make sure that we tell it that it's a text so this is text and then I click that and that's the text so and then we finish it and as soon as we finish this you will see it populated over here and okay and we copied data from the file all right <clears throat> that's step number one uh, the second step is to get all the data for different students who are majoring in different areas. Some may be majoring in anthropology, some in chemistry, some in aerospace, and so on. And I have data for 40 students who are majoring in different majors. So <clears throat> here I'm going to make a table. So here I'll say uh, raw data for majors. And I'm going to import that from another file so I click here from text and it's really in this file and I do the import again and it's delimited well, actually it has only one set so it's fine and it's tab fine and it's text so I'm just gonna choose text and finish and okay so all the 40 student data is here somebody majored in anthropology then another person in chemistry and so on so now this is what I need to do and of course what I should do here is just enlarge this so we can see the whole thing okay so in this column I want to get the frequency of all the majors actually better yet I should do it here because all the majors are here. So here, actually let me put an extra space here. Insert, okay. So here I'll say <coughs> raw frequency of majors, okay. And we can enlarge this a little bit. <coughs> There's a function called count if s, so which will count if your data is a string type or text type. So I click here, 
and type the description of the function count if s click on go and here's the function so I choose that function don't forget that you have to put an equal sign here so I say click OK and first is the range of the data so this is the range of the data so I click here and select the range of the data all the way up to the last data up to here and I click OK and the second is I choose like I want to find out how many are in anthropology so I choose this and I click here and it already found that there are this set here there are two in anthropology and then I click OK and I can extend the same formula for all others and now I got the relative fre raw frequency for all of them okay and if I put a sum here sum sum of all the frequency then I can get the use the auto sum formula by going to the home page I can get some of the all the frequency and that's actually 40 so uh, relative frequency is simply raw frequency divided by the sum so here we do relative frequency okay actually I should go to the next line and I have to enlarge this just a little bit so this is simply equals this column divided by that except we cannot leave it C13 because when I fill this formula in the other cell for next cell it will become C14 and that has zero in it so that will be a bad formula uh, what we do in this case is we press F4 key and it puts a address an address that's called absolute reference when you do that then it'll get divided by 40 everywhere so here it came to be 0 0.05 and I can just autofill all the way up to here and these are the relative frequencies of different majors anthropology 0 0.05 chemistry 0 0.05 aeronautical engineering 0 0.075 physics 0.1 and so on okay and then the percentage and let me save it just in case okay I thought I saved it but I didn't I don't want to lose this so <clears throat> I'll change the name later I'm just gonna take the default name right now okay it should be right here statistics okay chapter 2 okay the relative percentage relative frequency percent okay no relative frequency is simply 100 multiplied by the relative frequency so we simply say in this column multiply by 100 okay. and we just autofill that too all right so once we've done that doing bar graph is actually extremely easy I pick this column and I pick this column and we can do the bar graph based on that and so I just pick this column and and actually I should I could pick that to as just a major uh, code so now I can pick this whole thing and then hold the control key and pick that uh, go to insert column graph and there you go so I got my bar graph very nicely okay now I can move this up here uh, sorry 
don't need that. I can move the whole chart up here. And if you like, you can put the values, data lab label in all these. Sometimes that's useful. Okay. These two are already chosen. Uh, I can now do the other graph, the pie chart. This is the one, and I can move. Uh, again, I'm messing up just a little bit. Oh, actually, it wiped out my earlier one, so let me go back. I think there's a way to do both of them. All right, so let's just put my mouse here and re-choose it to do, hold the control key, do the bar graph, sorry, the pie chart, and this time I got it. And select that, right click, and add data labels. So now it gives me percentages for each one, actually. So that's the technique to do, get the data from a file, or you can type it. It doesn't really matter. But getting it from a file is somewhat easier. And do the raw frequency using the count if S formula. Get the relative frequency, which is simply each raw frequency divided by the sum. And the percent relative frequency, that's each value of relative frequency multiplied by 100 and then the way we did the bar and the pie chart. Okay? Uh, that's the end of this one. Thank you so much.